It was 1981, and this computer, the IBM 5150, came out. IBM found a way to mass produce a computer that many people could use. I remember my mom, she had a data entry job, and she used to sit there at nights in the same room that I would sleep in at two in the morning, and she would type away. But it was the first ever personal computer that allowed that to happen. Welcome back to What's Inside. I'm Lincoln and this is Dan. And today we are going to see what's inside of two computers that both have the claim World's First. World's First. This one is probably the one that you're thinking, this box looks so old, it looks like the world's first ever computer. It is not, but this is the world's first personal computer. Have you ever heard of the term PC? I didn't ever know that. You That's didn't really know what cool. PC even meant, right? No. No. This video about the world's first personal computer is actually sponsored by our friends at Kano. They sent us this Kano. computer building kit. And why is this unique? Because you get to build and code it yourself. Like that anyone can build and code themselves. Lincoln is how old? One, one, and a half. One, one. And a half. This IBM 5150 was built in 1981. That was when I was one year old. Lincoln is 11 years old, and this is the kind of computer that he has these days. We need to set up this IBM 5150. Then I'm going to build a Kano computer kit. Perfect, let's go. Yeah, I did it. There's numbers and emojis. Look at that! That's like a computer mouse! Got your mouse and your keyboard all in That is tiny! Lincoln pulled out his keyboard and look at the size of this thing. Super light, not even a pound heavy. Let's look at the keyboard on the world's first personal computer. This be it! Right there! Look. And there might be a slight difference. This is probably four or five pounds right here. It's a mechanical keyboard, which are super cool. Listen to the buttons. I'm not even pushing that hard. Let's hear your buttons. Big difference. <laughs> yeah. Mechanical keyboards are super interesting. I heard that there's an entire subreddit that's all dedicated to mechanical keyboards and how they work. So maybe someday we'll take that apart. I think they're super interesting. We have two different guides here. Oh, look how thick this one is. <laughs> look at this thing. This guy is just a little tiny one. How to make a computer. This is a keyboard. Since people don't know what keyboards are back then. Push this button and then this button. But once it's all set up, you should look as cool as these guys right here. Yes! <laughs> Does Kano have his cool of people in its guidebook? I don't think so. <laughs> Just due to this mustache right here, IBM, you win. So it comes with a few different cables. There's the HDMI that you can connect to a TV screen. Here's your computer. What? This is called a Raspberry Pi 3 model. Lincoln does like Pi, and so of <laughs> course awesome. he likes this because it's Raspberry Pi. So right now, Lincoln is building his own kit. He's looking at all the instructions. Oh yeah. All right. Big, that's what this is. <laughs> Are you seeing the size difference in this? Plug in this in the back. But now it's time for our monitors. Oh, isn't that a beaut? Right there. A beaut? What a beaut. That's what we used to say in 1991. How neat is that? That's pretty neat. I need some power. The power! First I'm gonna turn on the monitor. Okay. <gasps> Boom. Nice work. Oh yeah. I hear something. He's doing something. Ouch, it shocks me. Oh, Whoa. Microsoft DOS, MS-DOS version 2.1, copyright 1981. Current date is Tuesday 1-1-1980. This is before I was born. Wow, that's old. Echo off, oh boy, it's going. Is this dun, 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 dun. Look at that! Whoa. Now back in the day, we didn't have SD cards. We had these. These are the... <laughs> these are a little floppy disk. Floppy. And then close it. Boom. They have 160 kilobytes, at least the first year did. This little computer right here, 128 gigabytes we can put in here. Just wanted to point that out because it's amazing. This Kano computer kit can connect to any monitor computer. Follow the word white rabbit. R-A-B-B-I-G, what? You just did a rab hole. Whoa, what's going on? It's the Matrix. Hello, what's your username? Link Pi. Link Pi. Together we can make almost anything with code. Hi 
my computer. Type, say hello. Hello. <laughs> I'm gonna press enter. Okay, go ahead. Whoa! Hack Minecraft. This is awesome. All right, so Lincoln basically has his own little computer. What? This is amazing. Are you building towers of bombs? Why not? There we go. Yeah! <laughs> Blew up the world. I can do much more than that, though. All I had on this was Oregon Trail. So right now we're connecting to the internet. Awesome. This is a fully working computer. You can play Minecraft, you can watch YouTube videos, you can stream music, you can read emails, use WhatsApp with this thing. 2017, this is what an 11 year old can get for a computer. It's not like you are just watching things on a computer. You're actually building things and you're coding things and you're learning things. So for kids, this is a pretty cool thing that want to learn how to code or even for adults. As of filming this video, the current price of the Kano kit is $149.99. You can look at the link in the description to get your own or to check it out to see what the current pricing is. The computers back in my day were kind of terrible. To all of you that love history, just know hundreds of thousands, maybe even millions of these things were made. We bought this on on eBay. I know it's historical, they don't make them anymore, but people also don't use them and that's why we got it for cheap on the internet. So, there you go haters on Reddit. On Reddit? That's for you. Gosh, that is loud and strong. Hey, there we go! The thickness of this looks really similar to the video game monitor. And if there's one thing I learned from that, they did say there are gases in it that could be dangerous. Hold your breath. We've been gone for a few minutes. It is still making crackling noises. Look how thick the glass is in this monitor. Very similar to the Pac-Man machine that we destroyed. And then you have the silver on the back. That stuff is actually something you don't want to breathe in. IBM 5150 monitor. Check it out in there. Taking you in, guys. Look at everything inside of there. These coils right there, those copper coils, Sometimes those will maintain energy even after you've unplugged it, so you've got to be really careful around that. Whoa! Are you kidding me? That is so cool looking! Are you seeing this? Oh, it's like dusty. It's so old. Okay, we've got a motherboard here, a motherboard here. Do not remove this cover. Train service personnel only. It looks like these panels right here are additional ones that you could add on that add additional memory, additional RAM. All the way in, it's these chipboards, and then all of this on the top. There's a speaker right here on the side. This right here is Lincoln's entire computer. It could fit inside of there. This computer is still alive. I am not going to damage these boards, and we're gonna put it back together with the screws. Yes, we killed the monitor but that's as far as we're gonna go. It's crazy how technology now is so small compared to this, and it can do so much. Thanks to Kano for sponsoring this video. If you'd like to get your own computer kit, we have a link in the description below and you can get free shipping on it. So start creating with technology rather than just consuming it. Check out what other creators are doing. This is really cool, and I love the inside of it, and it's more than I expected. We out. So when you play Minecraft, all you do is blow stuff up? No, I actually do build some really cool things. Am I a bad example on you and destroying things? No.